Good morning, Your Holiness, Most Venerables, Your Excellencies, Ladies and Gentlemen. I would like to thank the International Council for the Day of Visak, for choosing to hold the International Visakha Bucha Conference in Thailand, and also thank Mahajura Rongkorn Latavutiyarai University for giving me the honor of addressing all the distinguished audiences who are present here today. This year is considered to be an auspicious year for Thailand as Her Royal Highness Princess Mahajakri Sirinton celebrates her 60th birthday. Adored and loved by the Thai people, the princess has dedicated herself to the development of the country and improving the quality of life for the people. Her kindness and compassion are unparalleled, and she holds very close to her heart the welfare and well-being of the Thais. And with the recent unfortunate disasters in Nepal, Her Royal Highness immediately lead the supporting activities as well as the donations from Thailand to support Nepal. Her tirelessness and admirable efforts over the years has gained worldwide recognition, garnering many prestigious awards, which include the Raymond Maxi Sai Awards from Public Service in 1991, and the Indira Gandhi Prize for Peace, Disarmament and Development in 2004. Moreover, in 2005, Her Royal Highness, the Princess, graciously accepted the UNESCO Goodwill Ambassador for the empowerment of minority children through education and through the preservation of their intangible cultural heritage. In addition, she has been decorated with high-ranking orders from other countries such as the United Kingdom, France, Spain, Germany, Austria, Netherlands, Denmark, Sweden, Japan, South Korea, Malaysia, Brunei, and Tonga, among others. Despite all the decorations, all the attentions in the ceremonies that usually surrounded royalties, Her Royal Highness, the Princess, is very down to earth. She is humble and prefer to dress simply, reflecting her close affinity and caring and connecting to the people. Wherever she goes, her constant smile and cheerfulness touches the hearts of her royal subjects, bringing joy and happiness to their lives. Thailand may have experienced relatively fast economic growth, but many remote areas are still undeveloped. Her Royal Highness Princess Mahajakri Srinthorn has traveled extensively to these areas, assisting with the provisions of essential nutrition and education for children and teaching of sufficient living practice for the residents. Distance has never been obstacles for the princess. No matter how remote the, re the villages or the schools I have been to, Her Royalty Highness Princess has already been there before. Apart from working hard to improve the quality of life for the underprivileged, Her Royal Highness Princess Mahajakri Sirinton also takes an interest in the spiritual well-being of Thai people. She constantly make merit and represented His Majesty the King at various Buddhist ceremonies. In particular, leading the religious possessions ceremony on Visakha Bucha Day at the Put Puttamonton. Moreover, she re reinitiated Visakha Bucha celebration activities which were regularly 
held during the reign of King Rama II, encouraging ties to light lanterns on the night as a reminder of Lord Buddha's teachings. Regarding the educations of Buddhism, the princess has always supported the teaching of Buddhist scriptures in monastic schools nationwide. The princess has also initiated vocationals and health education into the curriculums so that the novice monks are able to develop their career path after leaving the monkhood. Today, the Thai people are very fortunate to experience Her Royal Highness Princess Mahajakri Sarin Thorn's kindness and tireless dedications for the benefit of the country. As Her Royal Subjects, we are eternally grateful to her and her perseverance and self-sacrifice. And most of all, for her pure and great example for Buddhists, showing the simplicities of life and how we can connect and support each other with compassion. Long live Her Royalty's Highness Princess Mahasarin Thorn. Thank you.